Hey guys, so I'm doing some videos about Drake's birthday. I just did his favor one, so if you're interested in what we did for some entertainment and for party favors, definitely check that out. It's really, really cool. This one's gonna be more about doing the joint party and having it with my ex and his wife and just all that goes into that. So we did kind of a smaller party and we just made it kind of a better, like a, you know, a I don't even know the right way to say it. So we only invited the kids that Drake is truly friends of. So it was hard and I haven't shared like any pictures on Facebook because I don't want my friends to be offended or anything like that. Whereas, you know, in years past you invite all of your friends because they have kids and everybody comes and it's a huge party. And this time it was just like, let's just like invite Drake's friends. And Drake has, because of football, he has two more friends, but out before football, he had like two friends. So, um, you know, that were really close to him. I mean, he plays with all sorts of kids, but you know what I mean? So it was, a uh, let's, let's just keep it small. Let's make it extra special. Let's do multiple activities, do cool favors, have lots of food. Like, you know what I mean? So we did that. And it was good, it was really good. All in all, um, it was a good party. We went bowling and then did this like jungle maze, kid zone thing, and then um, had really awesome party favors. And then we ordered like a really fun arrangement of like bar food basically is what it was. <laughs> like, you know, pizza and wings and fries and chicken tenders and stuff like that, kid, kid bar food. And um, it was good, it's really hard for me to be around my ex still. And it's, it's, I'm like, why, why? Like, why is it so hard for me to be in his presence? But he just emits this like, just anger. He's just, ah, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And it's really hard for me. And I, I slap, you know, my smiley face on, but every time he like nips at me about something or yells at me about something, it's just, it's like impossible impossible. It definitely cements all of my reasons why I'm happy I'm not with him and why my expectations in men have changed. But, um, you know, it's, it's a tough one. And even my, I, I told after the party, I told my boyfriend, he was with, um, he was gone. So he's out of town with his kids, but he had, he had said something or I was like, that was, that was, that was rough or so, you know what I mean? Like, I just need like a minute to breathe and that was really hard on me and he was like, you know, he's like, I don't know why, he's like, I don't know why you do it. And it's like, well, I want to show unity between us and I want the kids to feel the unity and it's, it's a fine line and I think I'm faking it enough, like, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I wish, and I don't think it's me, but I wish that he would just like, relax, like just relax a little bit lose all the resentment and that, you know, there's a lot there, but just kind of, he's just a short tempered, angry, kind of just a nasty person in my opinion. And it's just, at least towards me, I mean, maybe not to anybody else in the world, but towards me. And that's all I see. So I see him and I'm just like, how could anybody, I mean, I, I feel bad for my kids that they have to spend time with this person because he's so, he's so mean. And it might just be because he's just, he's just super mean to me and he's great to everybody else. I mean, that's probably the case, but oh, it's hard. It's really, really, really hard. And I want to have that like, you know, united front on the parenting end with the boys and show them that you know, like, hey, everything's good and we're on the same page, which we are, thankfully, you know, to his wife, who is super friendly to me and wonderful and amazing and the person that I talk about and I rave about so long as my ex isn't there, because then that changes everything. But um, it's just, I don't know. Thankfully, thankfully, she's like there to kind of like, we can, you know, mediate and it it's it's good because we're able to do a lot together and, you know, discipline together and, and do things together and it's good, but it was a hard, it was a hard day and it put me in a wonky mood for the rest of the day. And I remember just telling, I had to take the steam cleaner back to my parents' house after the party. And I remember just saying, they're like, well, have fun tonight. What are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to go to dinner and a movie with the girls. And they were like, well, you know, enjoy dinner. I'm like, I'm just going to enjoy the drinks. Like, <laughs> uh, like that's so bad. But I did, I did have a beer at dinner. Um, I just needed to like calm my nerves so I could just like get over it and enjoy it and it's just it's bad it's bad so um anyways I just wanted to kind of a party update hopefully next year when I'm doing an update I'm like everything was awesome and it was so much better and 
things are great and we had a long wonderful and he didn't yell at me or nip at me for anything and he didn't get frustrated with me for nothing and just so anyways I think that's it I still I have this birthday cake that I should edit I should edit and just put it up there just so it's up there but um it's just not like the most amazing cake I've ever created so it's kind of like eh, like I don't feel like it really I mean, maybe you learn something from it. Like how to get a monster car suspended with floral wire. No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.